Mm. Oh, hey, dear. Hello, good morning. I am going to try to surprise Jenna because she is working and I've never visited her, but she's working. So, I'm being a good friend and doing that right now. Well, uh, did some damage there. <laughs> and now it's hot. And now I'm hungry. And now I'm gonna go home. Actually, I might head up Bath and Body Works. I don't know, we'll see. Testing out that line in, in that angle dough. So I was bad today and I kind of spent quite a bit of money. Since I'm not doing anything like that exciting for the rest of the day, I don't think, I decided to do another haul thing because those are always fun and they take up a lot of time. So it makes it seem like my day was more interesting than it was. Oh yeah. So I first went to Navy of the Old. And um yeah. Really? I'm not even gonna look and see who it is because we always just get solicitors. There's never anybody that I ever want to talk to anyway. Anyway, I got a bunch of stuff that was on sale. So I did save a lot of money, but I ended up spending $59.97 in total. So let's take a look at the damage. The first couple things are pretty simple. I'm a pretty lazy dresser, I will admit. So I just like throwing things on that are plain and simple. So I got several of these nice little um, tank top things. Got one blue and white stripe, this pink. I don't usually wear pink that often, but I decided to um, kind of diversify my color range in my clothing. And then of course I got black because I like dark colors like my heart. And these were originally marked as $8.50 each, but I got them for $3 each, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Next from the print section, I got this white, almost like a creamy white, um, long sleeve sweater thing and it has some jeweled parts in it. This is why I don't do hauls very often because I'm terrible at describing everything that I get, but I'm doing my best. It's like this really soft, easy sweatshirt to, you know, just throw on and stuff. It was originally $35 and I got it for seven. So I thought that was a steal and a deal and I couldn't pass it up. The last clothing item that I got was this. Actually, Jenna helped me find this. She picked it out for me because she knows me so well. It's this plain kind of, uh, navy blue and almost like a see-through sort of white tank top. I love shirts like this where it's like, you know, just easy to throw on or whatever. It was a little baggy in the sleeve. It did kind of come down a little low so you can see my bra strap, but I figured that I could just wear this with like a cool sports bra or something, which is what I normally do anyway and it's super comfortable. And this used to be $10 and I got it for $4.50. I mean bargain. I also picked up a couple accessories as well and I was kind of surprised. They actually had some pretty cute things at Old Navy. Who knew? The first thing I got was this pair of like peachy colored dangly earrings. These were seven dollars. I kind of like these because they're peachy but they're also kind of nude so that you know they can kind of go with anything and they have a little bit of gold embellishment as well so um, I don't know. Just thought they were pretty. The next thing I got was this kind of heavy silver necklace and I really, really like this because it reminded me of Lucky, which is probably one of my favorite clothing brands out there and I'm absolutely obsessed with all their jewelry, but it is pretty pricey, um, so I was really pleased with the price of this. I think it was only $13. I don't know. I just thought it was cool looking, so I picked it up. That's usually how it works when you buy things. Where did the headdress? Ooh. So yeah, like it's very versatile. Like you could wear it as a headdress as well. And it's like really stylish. It's like so Coachella 2014, if you ask me. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> and the last thing I picked up from Old Navy, I didn't really need them at all. 
but um, they were just kind of cool and they were the last pair there and they were calling my name so I couldn't ignore them. Anyway, it's these Stunna Shades. Kind of groovy, kind of stellar. I just really like sunglasses and um, I thought that these were pretty unique. I really like the rainbow effect and um, how obnoxiously big they are. So um, I just couldn't pass up on these. All right, and the last place I went was in Bath and Body Works because I had a coupon. The coupon was for if you bought $10 worth of stuff, you got a free signature item worth $12.50 or less. So I got this fragrance. It is country chic and I've kind of been obsessed with this for a couple years now. It is a little strong and it does smell a little bit like older women in my opinion. I don't know. I just like smelling like country chic y'all. Giddy up. And because I got a free signature item I went with this endless weekend Shea Vitamin E shower gel. I love Bath & Body Works shower gel. It's pretty much the only stuff that I can use because I have very sensitive skin and this stuff never ever bothers my skin. My skin always feels very smooth whenever I use this. Especially like when I shave a lot during the summer, my skin becomes very irritated and I feel like when I wash myself with this, it, my skin becomes less irritated. Not this scent, but I did stock up on a bunch of body wash when they had their semi-annual sale and they were like three dollars each so anyway that's it hope you enjoy this little haul thingy majigger and i'll see you whenever i decide to start vlogging again today so i didn't think that it, the day was gonna go anywhere but jenna and i randomly decided to go bowling so here we are first bowl of the night Off to a good start. Okay. Just doing some bowling. Ooh, ladies! Ladies! <laughs> <laughs> Now the song doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Fourth game, going strong. The only song that we know is like, <laughs> throwback to so it's obviously.
Not only is it closing time for bowling, it is closing time for the vlog, and I still have to take a shower and I'm exhausted. But anyway, another day down the books, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!